Hello, I'm Laurel, and today we are doing a reductive charcoal piece of Krampus to get us in the festive spirit, right? <laughs> in order to do a reductive piece, you want to take a piece of paper and cover it until it is in nice, even black. I used watercolor paper, 5x7, and I used a soft black pastel to create this nice background, I guess. This nice starting point. So then you begin erasing away to create your subject. I usually start off with a kneadable eraser just because it's not going to erase quite as much as a firmer eraser would. It's really fun, it's messy, it's relaxing. I would definitely recommend if you haven't ever worked with charcoal before, this is a fun way to get into it. So Krampus. Krampus has become more and more popular over the last few years in the United States. But if you don't know the history, I thought it would be kind of fun to talk about. I am by no means an expert um, I've just read a little bit about Krampus, and this is what I've got from reading about him. <laughs> Krampus is a half-goat, half-demon creature from Central European folklore. He comes from pagan Yuletide traditions, and the name Krampus actually stems from a Germanic word, Krampen, which means claw. So St. Nicholas and Krampus would traditionally come on December 5th to either reward or punish children, but then also Krampus can be found throughout December beating naughty, naughty children with birch branches, and if they've been especially bad, he might take them away, potentially eat them. <laughs> take them to the underworld. He's said to be the son of Hel, H-E-L, from Norse mythology, and he's still celebrated in Austria, Germany, other parts of the world as well. You know, there's that whole movie last year about Krampus. So definitely becoming more and more well-known, and he is traditionally celebrated at Krampusnot, um, which is a night in which adults, traditionally men, will dress up in large furry suits, wearing masks, adorned with horns, and they search for delinquent children. I've seen talk of these processions and parades, but I've never actually been to any of these celebrations, so I can't give a lot of insight to what they're actually like. They seem like there's a lot of alcohol involved and a lot of, you know, kind of like, like Halloween and Christmas mixed together, but obviously more stuff from pagan traditions and whatnot than like the traditional like Christian Christmas. Um, I mean, Christmas has a lot of pagan traditions in it too. That's a whole nother, that's a whole nother thing. <laughs> So if you have been to a Krampus knot, I would love to hear about it in the comments. I think it'd be so interesting. So feel free to share. And this piece is actually based off of a reference photo from one of those celebrations. I'll have it linked below if you want to check out the article and the photos. And as you saw earlier, I usually start a reductive piece by erasing a rough outline of the subject, and then I go back and forth between reductive and additive techniques. I used two erasers, mostly my kneadable eraser to get more of the like mid to lighter tones, and then a firm eraser, which is actually from a mechanical pencil, which I used to get more highlights and like the lightest tones in the drawing. So since I'm working on this five by, five by seven format, there are some places in which it's really difficult to highlight. So I end up attempting to sharpen my firm eraser by cutting it with an X-Acto knife. I, 
I kind of wish that I had one of those pencil shaped erasers. Have you seen those? They, they're shaped like a pencil. You can sharpen them. If it was firm enough, it'd be really perfect for this kind of work. Oh, like here where I'm trying to add these tiny little teeth is really difficult. Although I suppose I could have gone back in with white to highlight them. Ooh, I forgot to do that, but I do like how dark this piece is. I feel like it's fitting for Krampus. He probably wouldn't have bright white teeth with all that children eating that he does. <laughs> uh, I really like working in grayscale. I think it's really fun because you can focus more so on value and contrast. So you like highlight around the dark points of the character, dark around the light points, just really makes them pop. And yeah, I think this was, this was super fun. I also, I really like how the fur turned out on this. I was a little worried because drawing fur is notoriously difficult, at least for me. It always gets me a little stressed, but I promised myself not to overwork it, so just adding highlights here or there and redarkening some spots along with some like loose erasing really gave me a style that I like a lot in the end. The combination of these soft black pastels, which give the darkest blacks, and then the medium vine charcoal allows for variation in the values of darks. I also used this technique for his birch sticks that I'm doing right now on his back. So I started off with the medium vine charcoal for kind of the sticks that are like further back that wouldn't be quite as dark. And then I used a 2B charcoal pencil. I'm not sure how well you can see the difference in the video. You can see it a little bit, but you can see it a little bit more in real life. Now that I think about it, if I had sharpened that charcoal pencil a little bit more, I probably could have added some of the smaller lines around the mouth. Oh well. <laughs> I'm still really happy with how this turned out. You know, I just, I wanted to make something Christmassy and this is what happened. <laughs> it still kind of fits the bill, right? Not traditional Christmas, but I mean, traditional if you're going back to pagan times. So that's, that's all I need. <laughs> Anyways, just doing some finishing touches here and I hope y'all are staying from Krampus. Hope you're having a wonderful day. I make videos every week, so make sure you subscribe, hit the bell to never miss an upload. Also, I really wanted to say thank you for getting me up and past 100 followers. I'm so excited that my channel is growing. I hope to make a lot more content in the future. So keep creating. All right, bye.